You know, you've put together a fantastic book here, Our Journey Together. And in the beginning of the book, you write, to my great parents, Mary and Fred, my wonderful wife, Melania, the incredible patriots of our nation, all members of my spectacular family, and importantly, all deplorables, because you got me here. You're communicating to the American people, all the people who supported you, right. all these people who love you and adore you and stood by you, despite the fact that you were under brutal assault, for things you never did, like Russia collusion and so forth. It's come out loud and clear. This is a beautiful book. It's got hundreds and hundreds of pictures. It's got comments in your handwriting and other uh, comments in there. Why did you decide to do this? So it was an amazing four years. We did so much in terms of foreign policy, in terms of our nation. Look, when I left, uh, gasoline was $1.87. That was a year ago. And now it's, I guess, just hit $7.50 in California. The rest to follow. And I predicted this. I said all of these things were going to happen. You look at the economy, you look at the horror show of, of what happened with the bad withdrawal. And I was all set up to withdraw f with dignity and tremendous strength. Nobody was going to be killed. We weren't leaving $85 billion behind. We weren't leaving 10 cents behind. I said every bolt, every screw, every nail comes out. And all of these things, it was a, a beautiful period. I was under assault. Uh, like no president has ever been, I assume. I don't think any president has ever been under assault like this. And one thing after another, phony impeachments. Uh, I call it the impeachment hoax number one, the impeachment hoax number two, the, the Mueller thing, although it worked out good, but it took two and a half years, and it made it very difficult to deal with certain countries, in particular Russia. You know, we could have done some great things with Russia. Very good for our country, for our country, also good for Russia. But you couldn't do that because they would have said, oh, he loves Russia. These people are sick. And I wanted to do something that showed how beautiful it was. And it was a beautiful period of time. You have beautiful photographs in this book of you in the military. Yeah. You have a photograph here that is really uh, heart-wrenching. When you're at the airport, and bodies are coming off the plane. Yeah. You have a real affinity, a real connection with these men and women who fight for this country, don't you? So I love them. And one of the worst moments in the campaign for me was when they made up statements, a third-rate magazine that's failing, said they have a source that said I said something bad about soldiers that had died in World War I. And they made up a statement that came from me it was unsourced. They had no source because it was never said. And they had me saying it supposedly in front of generals and other military people about losers. It was made up. It was fabricated. It was never done. And then I went to work and I had 25 people that said that never happened. And by the way, from a common sense standpoint, I'm standing in a cemetery with many military people. And I look down and I say, they're losers. Who would say that? Only an insane, would I, would anybody, just from a practical, but you know what? The media took it, just like they did many other things with respect to me, like the Russia hoax. And they said that I said that, standing at the cemetery of World War I soldiers. It is a beautiful book. I'm not doing it justice here. I definitely mean to, it's over 300 pages, beautiful, high quality photographs. The president's journey with you through the four years of his presidency, it really is a fantastic book. I just want to return to the question. So you chose every photograph in the book. You went through thousands and thousands of them. And you decided to comment on some of them, too. Yeah. And you've written the comments on there, or some of them have been printed and so forth. I'm looking right now, the swearing in of Neil Gorsuch. You made a huge difference when it came to the courts. I love our country. Part of the reason I did this book is because it is a beautiful book, and it is beautiful pictures, and it is mostly positive comments inside. I'm not ripping too many leaders of country, maybe a couple, but not too many. I mean, I had a very positive relationship with leaders of other countries, even though they knew they, you know, the game was up because they hurt our country so badly on trade, on NATO. I mean, 
Yet countries not even paying for NATO. We were protecting them. And then they were taking advantage of us on trade in addition to that. So it's terrible. But, but it's a book that shows you the beauty of the United States of America. You have a couple pictures in your book. One is with Nancy Pelosi standing up and pointing yeah. at a meeting filled with individuals. What was that all about? Well, I have a number of pictures. And I have a picture of Nancy Pelosi. I have a picture of, uh, of uh, Merkel of Germany, who I got along with very well. That was a pointer also. We have a lot of pointers. You know, there are a lot of people pointing. But with Pelosi, you know, I watch the way she behaves with Biden. And he can't even communicate with her. There's no communication. I'm pretty good at that stuff. I look, I see. There's no, like, she could say, our president said this or that. I don't, he didn't say this or that. He just wanted to go home. You have many beautiful photographs. You're, there you are examining the wall with a G, with Netanyahu, with other world leaders, Putin, with the American people, with the United States military. This is a very positive, really wholesome book to put on your coffee table with fantastic photographs. You picked every one. You wrote many, many comments, and it walks you through the presidency in a way that I think is uh, very, very attractive, particularly for the holidays. So I want to encourage people to get it. Go to 45books.com, 45books.com. It's called Our Journey Together, Our Journey Together, and know that the president had everything to do with this book. Nothing got past him. No photos are in here unless he approved them. And nothing written in there is but from him. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.